Morning traders, and this is your DAX day trade setup for today. So yesterday we had all indications that we had turned the corner and we were in an upward trend, and then we got this break to the downside. So we'll look at it on the lower time frame because that's essentially what we should be doing at the open, is just watching the lower time frame to see what's happening. But uh, yeah, so this you can see here. Well, not this one, but this bar here triggered a lot of stops because you had quite a few stops that would have been below this area here. You would have had a few trailing stops and then you would have had the stops below that level. Okay, so what has transpired though is a, a fairly interesting, depending how you look at it, so I'll go conservatively, shoulder, head, shoulder. Okay, so we're looking for a break below this for shorts. Okay, but I think the, the critical thing here is to be looking at the fractional levels, and I'll explain that now. Okay, you can see the US session was extremely volatile, all these tails, barbed wire pattern, tails to the upside, tails to the downside, lots of confusion. Um, and I want to just, there's my fractional level. You can see the fractional level is below the teeth. It's a valid short entry. And we broke through, had a bit of a test of the alligator and then accelerated. And that's on the half. Floor. If we look at the 12 minutes, um, pretty much the same pattern. But the converse here was, you know, if we broke that fractional it was a long which it was kind of long but then it kind of putted out and your a couple of things here so firstly you've got an inside bar inside bar inside bar which is always a bearish trigger and then you're looking for a break below that which is what you got most people would have just targeted the gap and i'll just adjust this here because that's the gap there and you can see that's where profit taking happening but there's also a fractal here and then we hovered hovered this bar broke the fractal that was your trigger short or alternatively wait for the first pullback there's the first pullback and then short there with a stop above the first pullback and down we go that pin bar would have got me out okay as soon as you saw that pin bar i would have been in long because that is a wise man number one and it was an extremely volatile move until eventually coming all the way back down. Okay, so for today, yeah, much of the same. We're looking for pin bar breaks, but bear in mind that we do have a head and shoulders pattern. So the height of the shoulder is pretty much our stop area and our trigger area. You can see on the 12 minutes as well, there hasn't been a fractal break that is a valid trigger. Okay, this was sort of a valid trigger, but it's a little bit too close to call for my liking. So those are the two fractals at the moment. So break to the downside, we're looking at 11.955, break to the upside, we're looking at 12034 okay and that is 83 points so that's kind of what we're looking at for a direction so a break either way is a valid entry the other thing to consider is we do have a bit of structural break here so we could see a retest of the alligator and the structure break and then I move the downside. That's also possible. Okay, so the DAX futures is pretty flat, 11,980 at the moment. It's 20 points up from where we closed, so it's kind of over here. Okay, um, which is kind of now in the middle of this uh, consolidation pattern as well. So for me at this stage, Yeah, that was moved down. This is a consolidation. We've broken. I'm expecting a retest. The most logical retest is going to be around 
that area there. So I'm looking for shorts of uh, 12,000. Okay, and my stop pretty much above 12.035. So I've got a 35, we'll make it a 40 point stop loss. You need to add a little bit of wiggle room for your swaps. So it's a 40 point stop loss here. And I am pretty much looking for the measured move. It's going to go to the three hour quickly to see what that gives us. And that brings us down to this breakout retest here. Yeah. There's quite a bit happening at this level. So that's kind of my view for today. Uh, this is looking, and you can see it's actually a pretty big head and shoulders on the um, three hour as well. Okay, and the trend is down on the three hour, and we're also pretty much down on the hour. And that's a nice big engulfing bar as well. So That's kind of what I'm looking for. So I'm just double checking something here because there's a much bigger second move at play as well. And I'd almost take it to that swing low there, which is bottom of this big daily range. Okay, and obviously we have that level as well. And we've got a few books gaps here as well. Okay, so that's kind of my view at the moment, um, and I think the, the best trigger at the moment is just wait for this retest, watch this 12,000 area, which should be around there, that's fairly close enough, well actually we'll put it up onto there. So this 12,000 area is our line on the sand, if we stay below it, definitely looking for shorts, and then uh, we do have a couple of measured moves. So we've got this measured move here. Okay, and then we have a much bigger daily measured move as well. But uh, in my experience, go with the smaller measured moves first, take your profit, wait for the next bit of structure, and then trade it again. Okay, so that's kind of my view at the moment. Um, expecting a little bit of a bounce, and then looking for an entry, and the stops stop level at the moment is pretty much at 12.040 okay anyway guys hope that helps and uh we'll catch you later cheers for now